Hello everyone, I'm Vincent White. I'm an employment attorney and today we're answering some publicly posted questions from abo.com. These are questions tied to employment law. Let me, uh, let me read the next question here. In New York City, is it illegal to hire someone from the parking lot to do work for me? What are the penalties for not hiring someone officially and paying them with cash? Good question. So, what I think you're asking is, can you hire someone under the table without hopping through all the hoops of, you know, Social Security and confirming they're eligible to work and paying them, getting workers' compensation for them, paying taxes on their payroll, all of these requirements. Happens all the time, happens in many, many industries, and it's always really risky. So, there's a lot of agencies in New York State. We just rattled off a few, right? Uh, workers' Compensation, the Department of Labor. Um, there's a lot of federal agencies, Social Security, um, the IRS, all of whom very much want to catch you and fine you lots of money if you hire people under the table. And then there's the added component of people who work under the table sometimes know that you're at risk if you hire them under the table. And sometimes, because we're all human beings, and in any group of human beings, there's always going to be a few bad apples. Uh, sometimes these people working under the table, these the, the couple bad apples in that group, try to blackmail you. Say, hey, I could report you to the Department of Labor, and you would, uh, you'd you end up paying tens of thousands of dollars in fines. Or you could just give me a little bit of money. Which would you rather do, right? So that's, that's another big risk. Uh, I can't advise you that it's a good idea to have people working under the table no matter how how simple it is and how much we want things to be simple and all the money you would save, right? It's it's On one hand, it's great. It's very tempting to have people work under the table because you get to give them everything they earn, right? It feels great to say, oh, you did $500 worth of work. Here's $500. I'm so glad we could help each other. That feels great. But uh, the government doesn't want you to be happy that way. The government wants to have their their sticky little fingers in the transaction in every way possible. And if you try to beat the government, they will legitimately try to harm you. So good luck. And I hope you make a smart choice.